I have some slides to, to show you some basic information about uh, the AAPO. Uh, this is a product, a product from our company that is a Metasoft uh, design and partner for Polaris software. Uh, the connector we, we made uh, is basically to integrate our Polarion with Enterprise Architect that is recognized as a worldwide leader for the visual modeling and design and it's reused really in several environments both for software developers or uh, engineers and, and so on. Um, at the end of 2011, we released the AAPO 1.0. It was a free version and it was a quad chassis. We are very really proud for that because we had more than 100 customer feedback just in one year, more than 250 downloads and more than 50 requests from potential fee customer that needs to have some additional functionality and some additional features uh, in our uh, uh, in our plugin. So this year, after 2011, we started to have a roadmap on this product, and on 2013, so this year, now uh, we released the AAPO, the version 2.0 that is available. Um, this is the metrics of the uh, of the product basically with the differences between the AAPO version 1.0 and the second one, the current one, the commercial version. As you can see, the compatibility uh, both with the Enterprise Architect and Polarion are maintained in both versions. So we maintain the compatibility between uh, Enterprise Architect 8, 9, and 10. <clears throat> it's compatible with Polarion 2010, 2011, and 13, uh, both for licensing as ALM and requirements licensing. Uh, the first version had some uh, missing feature, like, for example, the possibility to export the packages uh, or to select uh, which packages uh, uh, the user would like to export, uh, just specific diagrams, just specific di uh, packages or, or elements, and this version is able to do that. Uh, we introduced also a, re a grid uh, preview mode where it's possible to, to take a look at the, at the tree that will be created in Polarion. Um, I use the, the word tree because in this version, it's also maintained the, the, the linkage between elements, and it's very important because in the first version, all the elements exported are just flat without any kind of linkage between the elements, and in this version, the links are preserved. Um, we completely redesigned the, the export uh, the export mode. Now it's very easy to use, it's a, uh, like a, a Windows user, so step by step. Uh, all the configuration I read directly from Polarion, and it's very, very important because in the, in the first version, um, hard coded in, in the plugin itself, there were some definition of work item that you can, you can map. In this version, everything is read directly from, from uh, your Polarion project that you can select in the interface. Uh, we introduced also a new database for the login for activities and support, and this is very important for for uh, both Polarion, for Microsoft, and from from everyone would like to to provide support to the customer because everything is logged in the database. Of course, uh, for the customer, you have always to say that uh, nothing like password or or, or uh, your data will be saved in the database because it's, it's true. It's just the database uh, health help for for uh, to understand if something went wrong or something like that. Uh, we also introduced the proxy functionality. Uh, it was a, a, a really important request that many customers asked us to, to have. And it is just only available in the in the APO uh, version 2.0. Uh, the other functionality like open Polarion in the enterprise interface, open AI element from uh, Polarion, and local database to store information and synchronization from Polarion to AA for comments and status update are the same in both versions. 